Well, we're about ready to start the uh, second match in our tournament of the day. And well, you should be excited because one of the uh, one of the most unknown talents tonight, so because he's yet to show his true colors, is about to step into the ring. So are you excited? For just insane! Could you believe this? The return match of IXW's original champion, IXW's true warrior. He's not just awesome. He's not just something. He's not just crazy. He's just insane. And folks, you should be excited. I feel bad if whatever sucker has to face this crazy bastard. Oh, oh, I know that music. <laughs> I know what that means. Exactly, W's resident stoner douchebag. This is once one of my videos. Chris Carnage. Carnage is for the match of his life and his death. Match is starting, just need the music to stop. There we go. Quick tie up. Good thing to start things off, but uh, not really a good idea with Justin Cena in the ring. He's uh he's always gonna beat you in that close combat of wrestling. Chris Carnage is a, a little bit of a high flyer, so he might have some advantage over Justin Cena in this match. I would say Chris Carnage is sitting there trying to go with the power. I don't think he's going to be able to outpower Justin Sane. Uh, I don't think there's any thought involved in that one. I mean, Chris Carnage, I mean, he's, he's a decent guy, you know, when you talk about average folk. But uh, this is Justin Sane here. Oh. Oh. Justin Sane is a pretty tough guy. I mean, he's obviously yeah. hardcore, if you can't tell. Ooh, yeah. Justin Sane, obviously. He was built for pain. Oh, Justin. definitely. Definitely. But I think Justin Sane showing a little ring rust today because... Uh, he actually hasn't been in a ring in almost six months. You're yeah, absolutely correct on that, and that actually matters a whole lot in this, in this business. I mean, Carnage, you know, he's, he's you lost. don't remember what the hell to do, you can't do it. Carnage has been losing a lot of matches, but at least he's been having them, you know? Yeah, that's true. But you know what? Carnage is still trying to get out of it. Everybody goes through it. They go through their wins and their losses, but he's hoping to capitalize on his ring rust in order to get back in there. Now, uh... If I get this right, whoever uh, wins this match has to face Radical Brad in the third round, right? Yeah, that is correct. They really have to face Radical Brad. Either way, it's uh, not going to be an easy match for a uh, radical one. Oh, I mean, me. it's going to be a tough, tough match. This is a very, very big tournament here. Carnage complaining a little bit. This is just for the number one contendership for the pure title. This ain't even just for the, the title itself. This is just to see who's going to be the next guy in line to take that title from Tony Dangerous. Well, I think uh, Tony Dangerous is, you know, in for uh, quite a match. Yeah, Tony Dangerous has been on a hot streak lately, too. We've beaten two of the biggest names in IXW. Tommy Gunn and Chris Carnage. <laughs> well, I mean, if Chris Carnage wins this match, then he could very well be setting up for a rematch. That's very true. Ooh, nice it would be amazing if Chris Carnage beats him for DDT, the title. and he held it held to turn it into a, a bit of a neck lock. Look at that bridging it. Carnage trying to kick out, but he, ooh, he, there he goes, rolls he, it over. He, See, he knows over. what he's doing. I mean, a lot of people will say Carnage, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing, he's just an idiot, but, you know, when it comes down to it, he could wrestle with the best of them. But Carnage, I have to admit, Carnage is also a pretty hardcore guy. I think I'd be more afraid to have him in the ring with a weapon in his hand. Oh, definitely, because once, once Carnage gets that weapon, he just doesn't give a shit about your body. He just wants to hurt you and win. But, you know, it doesn't say the same way. Well, that is true. Look at this. The question is, which one would you be more afraid of, Justin Sane or Chris Carnage? Well, if you go by win-loss record, I think I'd have to say I'd be a little more afraid of Justin Sane. Well, that's true. I mean, a mul multiple-time IXW heavyweight champion. But you know what? You gotta, you gotta look at it this way. He's already, you know, made a name for himself. I'm looking at it. Chris Carnage might want to make a name out of me, so I'd be more afraid of him. He'd be looking to really hurt me bad, take me out of the ring. I see what you're coming from. I see what you're coming from there. Well, I think in a, I think in a few minutes we're really gonna know who wants it more. A little bit of a inverted view we got. Let's see what we uh, Justin C now right mocking now. Carnage. Right now, Carnage, I don't know how Carnage uh, is going to get out of this hole. This hole is a very tough uh, move to get out. He's got his uh, legs and his arms locked. Uh, See, there's not much really he could do here. Uh, the thing here is, before Justin now. Zane entered uh, the uh, the world of professional wrestling, he was actually a uh, a trained Greco-Roman wrestler. So this kind of mat wrestling is just his style. 
Oh. Uh, so you want to stay away from that as much as you possibly can. Oh, definitely. Carnage, he's, you know, he's he's out now. Hopefully he, he's got the brains to stay out of that kind of lock right now. Oh. There we go. Nice oh. bicycle kick to the stomach. I think, I think what he needs to do is he needs to reach oh. the top of those ropes as quick as he can. He needs to, he needs to get aerial. He needs well, to get dangerous. Two. I mean, after all, he is Carnage. Three. Let's hope he, uh, hope he heeds your advice. He's getting up. Interesting ring and tie no. by Carnage. He's wearing a what do no. they call that? They, they the hoodie. He's, he's getting very physical. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys seems to be wearing.